Can you believe it's already the end of March? Yeah, I know, right? 2024 is going by pretty quickly, at least in my opinion. I don't know, maybe you've had some struggles over the past little bit that's made it go slowly. Anyway, we're here to have some fun watching stupid people do stupid things here on Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. Let's get into the clips with your Australian host. Here we've got another one of those, well, very entitled people who decide to uh, claim a car park by standing physically in it. Here's a clip. If you want expert level tactics on how to claim a car park for yourself, shove a trolley in there. A lot of people are too lazy to move car move trolleys in order to get into a car park. There are some that will, but most people won't. Or well, shopping cart. Both the, the same thing, we call them the trolleys here. Oh, oh well. Here we have a clip that is honestly just a nice, fun little insight into what it's like being a bouncer. In here, we're closed. They are. I've already texted them. They're in there. There's no. There's nobody in the in here. Do you you don't even hear any music. We're closed. No, I've already talked to them. They're in there. You talk to who? Huh? You talk to who? No, I I don't know what you're trying to say, but like they're in there. Who did you talk to? Uh, wh wh I know you're like trying to like get me out of this, but they're in there and they're not not in there. Okay. So we're closed. Okay. You're closed, but yes. they're not in there. No one's in. Here. We're closed. There, no one's not in there. No, they're just not in here. I don't know where your buddies are, but they're the, not those here. Those uh, images you're seeing right there—that's that, nothing's going on in there. They work here. They work there. Yes, okay. sir. So my buddies aren't in there. No, sir, they're not. Okay. So have a good night. Okay. Get that's, home safe. Get your Uber. That's something. not. That's not. That's not a true. What's phrase. What's not a true phrase? What you just said. They're right there. I've just, I just talked to them. Who exactly are your buddies? People that are inside. Okay. Name them. Huh? Right, they're here partying. Huh? Yeah. They're here. Okay, so we're closed. The club's closed. They're closed and they're inside. You said they weren't inside. They're inside. You're wrong in what you just told me. Okay. I'm sorry. You feel that way. It's, it's. I feel that way because you're wrong. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm wrong. You're right. The customer's always right. But no, in this no, no, no. case, we're like, closed, and you can't get in. You're closed. Yeah. I'm wrong. But your buddies are inside. I'm right. You're wrong. Okay. I'm right. We're... I don't care about what's right and wrong. My buddies are inside. You're, you're sitting here saying you're wrong. I don't care. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay. That's fine. I, I don't care about, like, the, hey, I'm right, you're wrong type of shit. I want to go inside because there's cute girls inside. Okay. I don't I don't care about the other stuff. You're like, hey, you're like, hey, dude, you're wrong. You know what I mean? I don't care if you're like, hey, you're wrong. There's cute girls inside. We could all go inside and just flirt with the cute girls. Why don't we all go do that? Who cares? Because we're closed and there's no cute girls inside. All right, watch where you spit, okay? It was kind of close. He's, you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Why, why are we even arguing about this? Dude? We're not arguing. We're having a very civil conversation. How old are you? Old enough. You're like 28, 29? Something like that. Exactly. I'm 24, 25. We only have so many years yet left. Mm -hmm. Even if you're older than that, we don't have a lot of years left to go flirt with these girls. Okay. So are you here for the girls? I thought you were here for your buddies. Are you here for the girls or for the money? I'm here for the money. 
Who gives a about the money? Me. Who cares, dude? We don't. We don't have many years left. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. Even no matter what they think, it's funny left. We only have as many years left. Okay. It's it's okay to you, but like, like, what do we have left? I don't know. What do I have left? Don't let him in. He's not gonna do nothing. Trust me about that. No, he wor he works here. No, I, I'm just trying to get back in. I think I left my jacket inside. You don't have to explain to us, Nate. Come on in, man. You work here. You're fine. Do I? I feel like after tonight, man. All right, all right. What's up? God. Have a good night, sir. It's been a long night. Who let my boy get squabbled like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Man, that is such a clip. It sounds like the club was actually open and it's just this guy wasn't allowed to get in for some reason or another. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. It, it just sounds like this guy just wasn't allowed to go in and it'd be as simple as that. And so they were just trying to find a way to get him to calmly walk away. And then he had to go on about this life story, do this entire dump of apparently therapy or crap along those lines. And it's just some form of nuts and what in the world. <laughs> like that, that's... <laughs> and this is like the classic example of like yeah this guy has a nice calm energy about him because you know that's kind of what you're gonna need in this type of job here we have a post worker who seems to uh finally snap at someone the postmaster i will be talking to the carrier i will be looking the best i can but i physically can't do anymore do you love? understand that uh, yes i am angry i have had it I have had weeks of this, that and I'm trying thing. to get things I right. should be sure. You don't need to act that way. Oh, no. You I guess I don't. Oh, 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 that's so... You know what? You know what? I've had it. You're going on. I've... I just recorded everything. Good. Good. Great. You can't touch my phone. Okay. Go ahead. Record everything. Because I don't care. That behavior was absolutely... Fine. Good. Why don't Wonderful. You, why don't you quit if you are so frustrated here? It's not my fault. Gosh, it's right like, now, now I know where the, the term going postal means. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Fine. Go ahead. Postal. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, uh, man. Uh, first off, you should just never treat a person like this. Like, if you're the worker here, this is not how you should react to the situation. I get it. You've probably been through hell and back at this rate with just the sheer amount of assholes you've probably had to deal with over the past good point in time. But snapping like this at someone isn't exactly uh, what you should be doing. You should, I don't know, take breaks when necessary and maybe give yourself a chance to cool down. Granted, I do understand that the works, the laws and stuff around work in America is kind of garbage when compared to what it's like here for Australia where we could just like cool I need to uh I'm going to take some of my sick leave as health mental health leave sorry I need some time to breathe and be fine but yeah uh, you should just never explode like this it's not good in any way shape or form you need to find a way to actually keep yourself cool here we have a Karen who decided to let their dogs poop on the yard and decides not to pick it up even though they've pooped in an area that is public property. And when they get confronted by someone else to point out that they should be picking it up, they, uh, yeah, this happens. Do you need a bag for that? For the poop? You alright? Yeah, They're over there. They're in that thing. You gotta pick it up. No, I'm not. It's a fine. I'm not. You mind your own and pick up your dog. No, I'm not. Mind your own business. I'm not. I'm gonna no. call the manager. They don't give it to you. They will. I've already talked to them. They will. They don't care about over there. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they yes, they do. No, they do. You feel like a big. You feel like a big dick now, or you are. 
Why am I a big dick? Because you are. Why am I a big dick? Because you're mine. Because you don't pick up your dog poop? No. Because you don't mind your own business. It is my business. I live here. I live here. So what? I live here. So what? It, it's it's in your lease. You have to pick up your dog. So what? So pick it up. So what? So pick it up. So what? You're nuts. You're nuts, and so's your friend. She needs a good psychiatrist. Oh, that's you. Yeah, I'm the psychiatrist right now. Yeah, and you're a gardener too, right? Yeah, I am. So what? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Don't they go garden somewhere? Fuck you. Whatever. Why don't you go r- take a run, lose some weight, you fat you know what? Huh? I think you pick up your I'm not picking up your dog so much. Huh? Oh, right, well, I'll leave it on your door for you. Yeah, you do that. We'll you get some yeah, for what? What am I going to get in 12 or 4? Nah, it's too late for that. I'm sorry, but you should be cleaning up after your dogs, you know? It's, uh, a bit... uh, There's nothing more to it. If your dog takes a crap when you're out on a walk, you should be picking up after it. It's one of the things that you signed up for when you got a dog. If you're going out walks on public property or on footpaths or a footway, you pick up after the mess they leave behind. It is literally the law. You can get in a lot of trouble depending on where you are. Heck, even a massive fine. It's just one of those things in life. If you've got a dog, clean up after them. They aren't able to do it themselves, so you need to do it for them. Like, uh, it's that simple. There's nothing more to it. In this next clip, we got a lady who decides to confront a person who's been stalking her for a little bit. You ain't slick. You caught. I am taking care of my kids. By watching your ass out of here. Think you slick. Think you slick. You ain't shit following women around the store. You ain't shit. Not buying a mother. Following women around the store. By following women around the store. You shut up. Get the fuck out of here. And following women around the store. Following wi- I saw you. I saw you following women around the store. You think you slick? <clears throat> you ain't slick. You ain't slick. I see you. Bye. And weirdo. Weirdo. Bye! Susie, to register eight, please. Weedle! Get out of here. I'm with my f***ing kids. I'm with my f***ing kids. You think that shit's gonna fly with me? It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. You didn't buy a f***ing thing. Been in the store for an hour having bought shit. Following women around. F***ing creep. You're a f***ing creep. Creep. Good on you for doing that. Absolutely, that guy deserved that shit show. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where I understand that a lot of people don't like to confront things like that because it is very difficult and you have no idea what's going to actually happen. But she got the opportune moment here. She's inside the store. The guy's still being a fucking idiot by following her around. And he's like, you know what? My time to shine. Let me go off at you for doing that. And fair enough. Fair enough. I don't get why people stalk people, but they do. So you got got to look out for yourself somehow, you know? Here we got the manager of a Target store deciding to kick this person out because they have what they claim to be a service dog because they don't give, they don't want to give any form of identifications or anything to actually recognize that it is a service dog, even though that's not required by law. I'm really sorry, but I can't have a dog in here. It's a service dog. I I would need to see a documentation. I I will then, absolutely. It's a service dog, and it's against state law and federal law. Yes, you do need to have documentation on it. No, you don't, sir. Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and... If you look up the Colorado state law... It's violation to have a dog in If you look up the Colorado state law... How are you a GM? I am, so... Jim, stop. If you look up the Colorado... I don't see... It's also required that they wear the... It's not required, sir. Yeah, so... It's not required. It's a, All right. Well, if you I if you go you on your phone so. and you look up the Americans right. with Disabilities Act. Okay. Well, this is private property, and I am asking you guys. To it's actually a public this. establishment. No. And you're private. open to the public. It's privately owned, and I am asking you guys to leave. Because so. I don't have All a right. vest on my Thank service dog. Thank you. I'm asking you. To leave. Because I don't have a vest I'm, on my I'm service dog. Yeah, it's it, a you service have no dog. Documentation whatsoever. You don't have to have. It it is it is a big deal. You can't have a dog. 
This is one of those moments that, as an outsider looking into all these laws to do with service animals, I'm not only slightly confused by some of the decisions here, I can also understand why some of these decisions are made. So, according to the Americans with Disabilities Law Act, laws. There's a bunch of different laws here, but basically the blame in terms of it all, service dogs are not required to wear any form of identification whatsoever. They don't need to wear a vest, they don't need to have any form of marking to show that they're a service dog. Also, you are not required to have any of the documentation for it because it, by law, stores and places like that cannot ask you if that is a service dog. They can't they can't ask you for any form of documentation to prove that's a service dog. They can't ask you if you've got any disabilities or what disabilities you have. They can't ask you anything in re re resemblance to prove that that's an actual service dog. Which makes sense to a degree because it means that you can't just look at someone with a service dog, know they've got a disability and abuse them for having that. But also at the same time, it's a system that is very easily abused depending on how things can get enforced. Because the list of breeds that can be a service dog is up there on the internet for everyone to look at. So if you have a dog of that breed, you can take it around everywhere, say it's a service dog, and that you don't have to prove that it is to anyone unless potentially if someone some police officer along the lines decides to ask. But no store managers, no store in any way, shape, or form can ask you if it can ask for identification of that being a service dog, and legally they can't kick you out specifically for having a service dog. It's a very weird web of laws that I, on one hand, I can completely understand of it because, you know, it makes it so that it's very difficult to target someone with disabilities because there's no way to identify if they've got one or not. But at the same time, I think it can be very easily abused. And the power's gone out to these elevators in this apartment building, and there's an elevator worker here is trying to get things fixed to get these elevators working once again. And one of the guys who lives here decided it would be a great idea to start going off at the elevator worker because the elevators aren't working. Yeah, sounds as stupid as it is. I think you are. I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> You're harassing a worker who's harassing trying to do their job. How am I harassing a worker? Really? I told him for ADA law that one of them needs to be working. So is he supposed to just, like, he's actively doing what he's supposed to for do. For ADA law, one of them needs to be okay. working. Okay. Go to talk to the office so they don't have a backup plan for ADA. That's their fault, not his. Go. Their backup plan is two elevators. When you lose power to the building, these things shut down. I you can record Stop. me all you I, want. I, I'm aware of that. That's why I'm doing it. You can record me all you want. I, I'm aware that's why I'm doing it. Continue walking. Nobody Are you my father? Talk. No. Stop harassing workers. I am not harassing This them. isn't a good look. It's not going to look You're good on social good media. I don't care about social media. Great. Then keep, keep acting like a douche. How am I acting like a douche? You're, You're the one harassing that's not here. the person. I, how did I harass him? What did I tell him? I, 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 you're what standing I tell here him? telling him what the law. What did I tell him? What, what did I he, tell him to harass him? What did I tell him to harass him? You're standing here What did I tell him, him to harass him? You're preventing him. What did him? I tell him to harass him? Can I answer you? You just, you didn't answer anything. I'm trying to. You're talking over me. What do you, what are you going to do here? What are you, are you done? Doing? What are you doing? You done? Go ahead. I don't know what you're You're gonna... harassing him about the law. He's aware of the law. He's doing what he needs to do to get it fixed. Take the steps or go home and wait. Thank you. It's not. It, it's really uncool. Thank you. It is very rude. And you need to take a self check on your life. Agreed. Sorry he did that to you. No, it's not me. I'm sorry he did that to you. It's okay. I genuinely don't get how this helps anyone. Going off of the maintenance worker who's trying to fix the thing that's currently broken is, I don't know, stupid, wasteful. Like, I don't get why would you do something on these lines. Like, it just makes no sense. It feels, it, you're not going to do, it's not going to do anything. Heck, you're just going to ups, potentially upset the worker, demoralize them, potentially make them take longer to fix the elevator because they're now dealing with your crap. So uh, I don't get why you would do this. And I get the pain of an elevator not functioning. The hotel that I went to when I went down to PAX Australia in October last year, one of their elevators were down. The other elevator they had is extremely small because, you know, they were trying to upgrade the elevators and unfortunately it lined up right into a massive event that was in the area. 
and so there was multiple times where I just had to use the stairs to go up five floors to my hotel room because the elevator was in consistent use and had a big lineup because you know it's a lot of people the elevator's small and it's a big event but that's just life here we have one of the most interesting ways to uh, quit a job oh, Obviously, there's a lot more that happened, at least prior to this clip, or things on those lines, because no one gets to this type of state for nothing, really. So it just comes to a question, was this all, like, what was... Like, how did we get here in the first place? As well as a more interesting thing of note is it looks like she has her phone out trying to record this entire incident herself as she's quitting, which, I don't know, it, it makes me a little bit more concerned about her reasons for quitting, whether that be because she genuinely has a terrible boss that abused people in the workplace and that's why she's recording, or she's trying to have some form of booyah, hooyah moment on TikTok or something on those lines, and that's why she's recording. It's like seeing, yeah, I stick it to the man by quitting on the spot and screaming and shouting in front of all the customers. That's going to get me a lot of clicks. So there is a few concerns here, but ultimately that this is how it's gone. Here we have a couple of upset neighbors because of some late night car noises. I'm calling the cops. Next time that happens. I have two kids. It takes me two hours to get them to sleep. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. That, that's not, that was not me. I don't know why you're mad. I know. Don't, don't look at this. I have no idea. We are in our night. Whoever it was, that was me your too. Friend. I'm I'm sleeping. I was I got yeah, scared you, too. You were? Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, in I my room tell. sleeping. Yeah. Well, I am not sleeping. Neither are my kids. Yeah. So okay, stop bro. it. I don't get I'm, why you're so I'm mad. I'm calling the cops next. Why time. do you you do you have kids? Uh, two hours. You to don't put know my that. Do you have kids? I have two hours to put my kids to sleep. That shit is not gonna fly. What? That, okay. wasn't, that wasn't me. Why are you mad? I, I, I'm just telling you. That's it's not going to fly. happened on this street. No, no I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with you. I don't know why you're yelling at me right because now. Because I, I can't slip that I have store. two children that are infants who have to go to school in the morning. It takes me two hours to put them in a bed. Yeah. Okay? So that shit is not going to fly with me. Okay? I'm going to call the cops next time. On who? On you. On you. I'm telling you it wasn't me. I don't okay. care who it was. <laughs> so you why call cops on me then? Okay. Because then call, I'm going to call it on your friend. I don't care. I'm calling the cops. A thing to note is that in the comments of the original TikTok, this guy fully admits that yes, it was him who who was making the noise. It was definitely him, which just leads to a few different things I have here. First off, infants go to school. Does that a slip of the tongue, or is it just like a misrepresentation of what's actually happening? Like, yeah, you might be taking your kids to a kindergarten or a daycare or something along those lines, but describing it as school is funny, to say the least, but I'm not going to look too much into that one, to be completely honest. And, yeah, if you're purposely revving your car that you know is loud in the middle of the night, then, yeah... Yeah, this is deserved, definitely, your, your buddy, if you got a loud car and you're revving it purposely at night, like, buddy, I don't know what else to tell you. If you're getting home and you're just, your car's just naturally noisy, yeah, I can't really get up too upset, too upset from you, that's just life. Like, there is, like, uh, someone who drives a Nissan Z around here, and sometimes when that's getting home late at night, you can hear it just purring around it's beautiful but at the same time noisy <laughs> but that is what it is it's not the end of the world now if that guy was purposely revving it then that'd be another question but he's not he's getting home here we've got an uber eats deliverer who uh couldn't exactly find where a certain person lived or so they claim so they decided to stop in the car park of that person's complex and then start eating their food uh the customer caught them in the act you didn't do a guy Thing. I just called you. I just screen recorded the whole thing too because I was going to make a complaint. So instead of you bringing me my food or answering the phone, you decided just to keep it and eat it. Give me my food. 
The one that's open too. I want my drink. I want all that. I did try to look for you. No, you didn't. I did. I, I, I screen recorded the whole thing, sir. I have it. Me calling you, me texting you. I screenshot it and screen recorded the I'm whole thing. So you. instead of you coming to bring my food, and I gave you clear directions. I wrote it in English. I wrote it was in it Spanish. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay? Maybe I should have wrote it in German too. I wrote it in clear directions. And instead of you responding to any of that, because even if you had an issue, I said I would just meet you in the front. You didn't have to look for me. I said I would meet you right here in the front. So if you wanted food, you was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? You was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? If that's all it was and you just wanted the food. I was trying to find you. I know you don't think I was, but I was walking So why didn't you respond to any of the messages? I know. I was, I was overwhelmed by messages. I usually don't get that many. I was trying to... If you're lost, why didn't you try to contact me so I can help you find it? Yeah, I was just trying to find the place. How was your trying? I'm I mean, just. I, 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 in what way were you trying? Me over there. Because I just rode around here. I left my house and I'm like, okay, I'll meet you in the front. I know it's hard to find places over here. I just rode around in circles. I haven't even seen this car, so you were just parked eating my food. You haven't even made it out the complex. And you're already sitting here eating my food. So when were you trying to find me? You haven't made it out the complex and you're sitting right here eating my food. It's not even like you made it anywhere yet. We're still in the complex. What, what's the point of this? Because you pissed me off. Hey, you pissed me off. I'm you just sorry. wasted my time and you pissed me off. And I'm going to send this to Uber Eats and whoever else. The first question I'll ask here is why in the world were you still in the comp the parking complex of that apartment that you were meant to deliver the food? What in your mind decided to think that that was a genius idea? Wouldn't it be best smarter to just drive away a fair bit and then eat the food? Like genuinely speaking, what the hell were you thinking in general here? It, it just, it, like... Your single brain cell just wasn't firing at all in this entire thing, and you just went, Oh, yep, I can't fire them. I'm not gonna bother to try. I'm gonna even gonna go further than this car park here of the apartment complex. I'm gonna start eating their food. Oh, they call me? Uh, let's try and make up some excuses and then give up entirely. Like, it's stupid. In this clip, a Karen gets caught out for leaving a dog inside of her car in the middle of 90 degree weather. Yeah. Is that you guys? Yeah. You know, it's like really dangerous to do to a dog. Did you open that car? No, someone else did, but I put water in there because the dog wasn't even like panting and someone else wanted to call the police because you guys been gone like 25 actually. minutes and it's like 90 degrees outside. She's in the shade. I know, but it's so hot. It's not the it's shade, hot, it's the hot. It's the heat. Have, the like, dogs that size will, like, it's like three to there. five times okay, the, the you heat. you know, it's really weird to like just come and attack me. Like, just be chill, you guys. Like, this is my dog, and I've like, had her for eight years. I take really good care of my dog, and, like, I'm so, like we were coming back to check on her, you know? And well, you said you take really good care of your dog? Well, pointed it out, and they're the ones who opened your car, and they called the police. I don't know why they're not here yet. Your dog probably would have died okay. if you didn't, Are you someone didn't really? open it. Yeah, absolutely. It's Sorry, really hot outside. Know. We need to get her shaved. We're from Oregon, obviously. Like, I don't think shaving will, will save your You're dog. You're allowed to take your like dog that. everywhere around here, so you don't even need to leave her in the car. Okay. I mean, it's this simple. If there's no aircon going on in the car, the car is a f***ing hot box. It will suck in all the sunlight that's being directed into it, and it will just get hotter inside the car than outside. It's really that simple. If You, you shouldn't leave anything inside the, the car that can die to heat. Regardless of anything, bad idea. This person knows that they're wrong, they just won't admit it. Next we have someone who's chasing the secret sauce for some particular reason, decides to belittle the fast food worker despite the fact that they clearly are unable to help them in their current situation. I need 
Seems like someone's just a touch off their meds and was outside for the day. Uh, it's like sometimes it's hard to feel extremely. It, it's it's I can't help but feel bad for some Karens because it's clear that they're just having a very 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 difficult day or difficult time at that point in time. It doesn't make it right to belittle fucking fast food workers. They already have to deal with enough shit as it is. You don't need to make it look their lives ten times worse by just slamming on the goddamn screen like that. That's still not warranted whatsoever. But clearly, this person's struggling. We have some Karen that is uh, experiencing a lot of road rage against this another fellow driver, and when it turns out that the, she's not getting through them, she throws a water bottle at the car because that's going to do something. Congrats, ma'am. Do you feel better now? Do you feel like that rage was well worth it, or did you get absolutely fall out of that entire interaction? Because that's what it feels like happened here. Not only can I barely hear what you're going on about through the windows of this car because it's so muffled, you just need to get your. Uh, you need to get that one up. You just have to throw a water bottle at the car. Genius, especially when it seems like you did acknowledge that you are being recorded about this. So, yeah, it looks like your head's totally not. Totally screwed on properly. Totally not a little loose. Is next up, we got a lesson on the world's best parenting methods. Leave your one-year-old child locked up in the car whilst you go inside. Not leaving the car running. Doesn't matter if it's a hot summer day or it's cold winter day. Just leave them locked up in there. They will be fine. Wait. Oh, it turns out people were concerned. Oh, shocker. How dare you treat me like that? Despite all of this going on, how dare you allow me to like that to me in front of your child? Yes. What kind of I'm 21. I'm full yes. grown. Well, you're still her kid. And I okay. agree with her. Both of okay. you. Shame on you. We're shame on you. To protect you your no children. You have no idea. You're as a parent. You have no idea to shame me like that. We're for kids. Wait, wait, I had a husband that had cancer. My mom is dying from a cancer. Oh well. Too bad. Too bad. My husband died of a brain tumor. You better stay away. What are you causing right now? Who raised their voice? Your mom did. She's, she's trying to help me in the store. Children. My God, my kids are in great hands with me. She's I'm a good mother. To help and don't your I, I'm shaking. I'm furious. You're How not the dare only one. both of you mind your own business, creepy. Calm down. It's ridiculous. Who's the one that's heard of screaming? Because she's leaving now. She yeah, who's, who's the one that's screaming? Her. her. Left her one year old in the car. Is, is this mother just having a full blown meltdown because she was caught out on doing something very irresponsible? Like, as I said, it doesn't matter if it's a cold winter's day or a hot summer's day, leaving a child or an animal or anything locked up inside of a closed car is just a disaster waiting to happen. It can cause a lot of flipping problems. You should just never do that under any circumstances. It's just, you don't do that. Like, just don't. What? <laughs> Why would there be any question to this thing? Jesus. Here we watch as a guy gets uh, banned from tables at a casino because he was too good for them. How's it going? How you doing, brother? My name's Jeremiah. I'm our casino manager. Jeremiah, how you doing? I'm wonderful, brother. You know why I want to talk to you? Why? Because you're not going to be allowed to play tables anymore, okay? Not at all? No, nah, brother. You're too, play, play's too good for us. Play too good? Wild Horse, all Santan, of and Lone Butte. Can't play at any of those properties. Can I flat bet? Can't flat bet, brother. I'm no, sorry. not at all. I'm not permanently a, banned. 
You're gonna be banned from the table. If you wanna play slots, you can go play slots. Oh, no. If you wanna go up to Dude, I'm only up. I'm up 126 bucks. Plays too good for me, brother. Man, all right. Well, I appreciate you being kind. Not a problem, buddy. You have yourself an absolutely wonderful day. Just yeah. No wild horse, no Santan, no lone mute. It sucks because no these are the best me. casinos to play at. Well, listen, yeah. man, if you want to, if you want to go play roulette, you want to go <laughs> play <laughs> dice. I'm you fine. know I don't I play think. dice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right yeah. Thanks, guys. Brother. I can cash out, correct? You can go cash out. That's okay. I appreciate the respect. Yep, this guy was definitely counting cards to some degree, and whilst there is nothing wrong with doing that, you should expect when you get spotted doing that by the people who run the casino, they're going to want to get you off those tables, purely because uh, you're they're losing the edge they have over you to make money, and because you're eating into their profits by actually being somewhat decent at these card games, they don't want to have that. They want you to go play the games that is purely luck, that they can infinitely rig into their favor and screw you over even more. The hours of like 3, 4 in the morning, which is a very interesting choice, but I assume that there's a reason behind that, and they get a very uh, interesting introduction to one of their neighbors who seems a bit unhinged and potentially racist. Actually, yes. You're moving because it's illegal at this hour. Please record your moving furniture. Record your man. Record your man moving furniture. Hang on, I'm gonna get my camera to record you and your robe. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Go ahead. But you've been screaming since what time? Have you? You just moved in. You're the one screaming right now. You just you're moved in. Screaming. Yeah, you're the one you that had the police. The making a scene, dude. I'm gonna find out where you work and you're gonna lose your job for I saying work, that. I get paid by the government. Yeah, you can't say that word. Really? <laughs> Dude. You're a oh honey. Oh my god. Do you think because oh you're not brown god. you're not What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, waking me up at 4? No, I'm sorry, 3.30? Yeah. Hang on, I got a phone too, babe. I'm using to call the cops. Good, call them. Are you getting in your car drunk, bro? Or are you just high on meth? Hi, and Matt, that's you. You're the one with no teeth. I probably assume in this case that the reason why they're here so early doing moving stuff is probably because that's just how they've had to do it timing wise in order to get all the moving done in the necessary time frame they potentially might be hiring a truck. There probably is a plethora of different reasons why they're here this early. It's still very interesting and I hope that they were being very considerate with the amount of noise they were making. This neighbor surely isn't, especially they come out yelling and then just, uh, yeah, being very racist, like, unapologetically, just dropping N-words. Here we have a ultimately just wild situation occurring here. For some reason or another, this, the police are trying to get the woman out of this car, but she seems to not give up and not want to give in to being pulled over by the cops and does some ridiculous action. Her, her axle broke. Oh, no, he can't go nowhere. Yeah, that's a girl. That's a girl. Yeah, she's she's going crazy over these. She's trying to go crazy yeah. for Monaco's, man. Yeah. Yeah. She's still trying to go. Look. Stop the car. Stop the car. Turn back. I'm gonna go get out shoot. Oh, she cooked. Oh, that shit crazy. Holy shit. Watch out, Brody. Watch out, Brody.
I'm going to be honest, I don't know what you were trying to achieve here. Like, genuinely speaking, you thought you were going to get away? If you somehow did manage to pull away from here, it would just initiate a cop chase, and you'd inevitably get caught at some point in the future, and then you'd have to deal with a buttload more charges than what you would have if you just simply got out and stopped when they first tried to get your attention and get you out of the car. And honestly, I would say you're quite lucky you didn't get trigger-happy police officers because going from what I've seen in America, there are certain police officers that would use this as a justified reason to shoot. Because, you know, you're still moving in a car when police are actively trying to get you out of the car, potentially injuring someone. So, I don't know. I don't know what you were thinking. I don't get why you didn't give up. But, jeez, you are very, very lucky because it could have been so much worse. This is another wild clip. Uh, I don't even get how this even happened, but so maintenance workers came in to patch up some walls and apparently a cat got in behind the walls and rather than trying to get the cat out, it looks like they've patched the cat in, as you can see from this footage here. Yeah. The so can we go find the painters? No, because I have a very hard time believing that this was an accident. I'm pretty sure they saw my cat back there. They're lazy. We all know the maintenance people here are terrible. I know you've seen the reviews on the maintenance workers that work here. They're horrible. They're lazy. I know for a fact they probably saw my cat back there. They probably tried to get him, couldn't, didn't feel like coming back later to wait for him to come out or coming back later to finish their job. So they patched the wall up with my cat behind no, it. They would not do Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the painters in here since you want to act stupid because that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You disrespected me by patching my cat into a wall. If you're going to continue, we're going to end this meeting right now. Okay. Okay, well, you guys are. How? Go get the painters. You can call them. You can call them. Just wait. Okay. First of all, bye, Natalie. Bye, Steven. Thank you for the help. You guys are so helpful. Thank you. Bye, Steven. Come on. Which way is the way out? Okay. I'm sure they wouldn't do that. I mean, yeah, that would be what I would expect. I would be also be saying, like, yeah, surely they didn't do that. Surely they're not that stupid and dumb. But no, from the clip here, it looks like they are. Like, look, honestly, I can get why the Steven guy's a little bit like, nah, there's no way. You're just over-exaggerating. There's no way they would have done that on purpose. But it seems like, like, <laughs> because that is like something so, so abnormally ridiculous. It doesn't make sense for it to even happen in the first place. Yet, here we have the footage. There's a cat stuck in a wall. <laughs> I don't even, like, <sighs> I don't get it. Like, how did that even happen? How does that happen? How do you, like, see a cat in the wall and you're that goddamn lazy that you just don't get the cat out of there? You patch the cat in. Like, isn't that... <laughs> That's the level of animal cruelty, like, I've never seen. Like, what? Apparently, this guy brought some food from this restaurant here, left the building, and then has come back to go to the toilet for some reason or another. I don't know why they left and came back. They could be toilets. That doesn't matter to this case. He's been denied going to the toilets because they believe he might be some form of miscreant. So, uh, this happens. Because you think I'm a crackhead trying to use a bathroom? Oh, oh, you order my food? I want my money back, bro. I want my money back. I want my money back. I want my money back. I want my money back right now. Uh, you know what, bitch? I'll give my money back. But you know what? Y'all are all going to lose your jobs. Hey, you're going to lose your jobs. Have fun. Have fun tonight. Have fun tonight. Have fun tonight. Hey, have fun tonight. Hey. All your food's gonna be bacteria, I swear to God. Don't order from me. I've got one word for this. Nuts. <laughs> this is just ridiculously stupid, and there's nothing more to it. Like, this entire scenario is just stupid. First off, denying someone from going to the tours because you think they're going to the they're going to do some damage in there, even though they just brought food there, that's a bit stupid. But then furthermore, asking for a refund for your food because they denied you from going to the toilet, that's also a bit stupid. <laughs> that's just how this goes sometimes.
sometimes. Here we go, Kevin, who's a bit upset because he's unable to get cash at a store, I think. That's at least what I gather from the clip here, because he's claim he's going off about the fact that they don't carry cash, which is very interesting to say the least. I guess it deposes on how the laws function in America, but usually most stores have cash here in Australia. Most stores. Some stores will have signs out the front letting you know, hey, we don't have we can't we don't accept cash here, we only accept card, which is really annoying. And there's also others that only accept cash and don't do card. But usually there's a big massive sign to give you that information here. So maybe, I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about this one. Maybe this guy was going for some cash out and that's why he couldn't get, ca like they didn't have cash to do any cash out, which, you know, that's a completely fair thing because uh, shops are not banks, buddy. Get your cash out from an ATM, not a shop. I don't know. It's a bit, this one's interesting. He's really going off his nutter about the lack of cash at this store for some reason or another, which definitely unnecessary to say the least. Like, really? You don't need to go off the off your lungs there and burn them in a hell or something. Like, geez, calm down. In this clip, we've got a lady who decides to start harassing a bunch of security people because uh, they apparently tried to touch her. If that's what I'm gathering from the clip correctly, am I right? I don't know. Here's the clip. Yo, I got this on video, bro. You good, bro? I got this on video, bro. You good? Ma'am, 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 please get the car, ma'am. Don't ever touch me again. Sir, sir. But get your, get your girl, bro. Don't you ever touch me again. Bro. Don't you ever touch me again. What are you doing? He tried to fuck me. He ain't trying to do nothing. Yo! 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 He didn't try to do nothing to you. He didn't try to do nothing to you. Because, bro, she go, she can usually go back and say something. He's a black man, bro. It's a black man. Be honest, it's a black man. This lady's just crazy, man. I, I get it. The person behind the camera was definitely antagonizing her, trying to see what he could pull out of her, because she probably wouldn't have gotten out of the car again if the guy behind the cameraman didn't continue to try to annoy her about what she just did. But at the same time, she is stupid. She's insane. And it's like the moment she calms down, starts hop back in her car, she has to get out and start to leap and go after the guy. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Literally, you were just pointing out that the police are literally just on the road there. What are you doing? Did you think? Obviously not. So these people decided to park in a disabled car parking spot in a very empty car parking lot. They do have the sticker required to park there, but the person who apparently owns that lot decided to call someone to tow their car away because they shouldn't be parking that lot, apparently. Anyway, an argument ensues. Whistle stop probably being the next one. I'm sorry. Whistle stop probably being the next one. I'm sorry. I don't give two f. 
anymore. Can Every day I deal with this. She's disabled. I'm going to show that there's no other cars in the parking lot. Well, that's a bit of a doozy, that one. Wow. Um... I'm not 100% sure how to really think about this one. So, okay, the best way I think about this one is that okay, this is probably a parking lot that is owned by that lady there and that she tends to be that type of person that if you park there, she's going to immediately get someone to come and tow you away regardless of what you're doing because it's a car park that shouldn't be used by anyone, I'm assuming, at this point in time because there's no active businesses there or something. But it's also a bit of a wild thing to get someone who's in a disabled car park who's got a disabled sticker because you're now just getting rid of one of their a vital piece of transport. And we can see why, because the older lady who clearly goes with him is got a walking chair to be able to walk because she's old. It's like I personally wouldn't have caught a vehicle sitting in a disabled car park spot with a disabled sticker to be towed away personally but he's also in every right to do so i don't know this one i have mixed feelings on next clip we got a protective mother who catches their son's girlfriend hanging around with another guy and has a very interesting reaction to that This is a classic think before you act situation. I get it, you want to protect your son, you feel like your son's being cheated on by the person they're dating, but at the same time, you can't be 100% sure what's actually happening here, and the best way to handle this type of thing is either A, ask your son later, or B, if you really need to do it right here, right now, ask her a question. Don't fucking scream at them. That's dumb. That will literally ruin any chances of you figuring out what is actually happening in the situation. Here we've got our... Jeez, what a voice drop. Here we've got our localhood neighborhood... N far out. <laughs> Here we've got a local neighborhood nut who has decided to aggressively knock on someone's door. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now.
He, uh, maybe he should be in the loony bin. Okay, that's a bit too far. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't get content. I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> My brain is like halfway in the ditch right now. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so what a wacky man. Just aggressively, like, if he knocked any harder, his hands would be bleeding. Well, his knuckles would be bleeding and the door might get knocked down. Actually, no, probably not. The knuckles would be bleeding first. Those are some loud, loud knocks. And, buddy, you'll, it looks like you're missing a few front teeth there. Yeah. Um, is it because someone did what you're doing to the door to your face at some point? Because that would make sense. <laughs> In this clip, we got a Karen who was caught attempting to break into a car, apparently, though I'd, I'm honestly a little complex on how the hell this has even happened in the first place. Like, there's, there seems to be... Uh, you know, just watch the clip first and I'll get back to you in this in a moment. My friend took me over here and told me that I could use this car because my car broke down. I'm so sorry, is this not my car? What are you doing? What is this? I did. Look, these were all in here, and this is- Yes, my car! Oh, God, I'm sorry, dude. I did not know that this was your car. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, just dip. Okay. Goodbye. Don't okay. touch nothing else. You're lucky I don't have my mom come out here. What are you doing? I got my purse right here. I don't give a out of my Look, can I just get my purse? No, you ain't getting my... Look, dude, No! I'm so this sorry. This is my I, will... I will call my friend right now. I don't care. Get, get out of here. Look, call the police. I'm so call sorry. Call the police. Call the police. Just let me get my purse. Get, please. No! Please. 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 This is just clothes and my boyfriend's medication. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not... Get out of your breaking my column down and shit. I am already like that. I, I don't even know how to do that. You, I heard you out of starting it. Okay. How, how do you... If I get out of here. Get out of here. Get, no. There's medicine Dad, in there. I don't care. Dad, no. Dad, no. Dad, just throw her... I'm you just throw her... I if I take, know... Take your mask down. No, sir. Take your mask down. No, sir. You I'll give it to you. Stuff, just Take your mask down. I'm sorry, but there's a few red flags that are immediately going off in my head in this clip. A. Either A. The car was unlocked, and so the person didn't question anything about it. Or B. She actually broke into a car, but is that off her mo Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to make sense of this entire thing. Like, considering the fact that right at the back end of the clip, she decided to whip her mask down, and then I'm assuming beyond the clip itself, they just resolve it and move on with their time. Like, I, I'm sorry, I'm just so lost in what even happened here. Okay, so your friend told you, hey, uh, you can use this car for the night because your car's broken down, the car's on lock. Like, w how did you start it? Did you, did you hotwire it? Did you get told to hotwire it? Did you not get given the keys to borrow the car? Like, I'm, 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 so, I'm just so lost in what even is this? Like... <laughs> There's just multi-layers of what even happened here. Here we get dropped into another argument between people, but this time it's a bicyclist and an elderly man on the sidewalk. And we do actually have some information to make sense of what happened prior to this. Basically, the guy behind the camera is riding down this footpath, and the elderly man is not happy with that because it's potentially illegal or not allowed in wherever they're currently situated. Either way, here's the clip. You, you really want yourself to go all over the internet like that because that's what's happening. What do you want you to be? I'll put you on. I'm not too. doing what you're doing, sir. No, you're, you're riding on the sidewalk oh, illegally. And what are you okay? doing? You're yelling at me, swearing at me, waiting for me to come down the sidewalk, and I'm going literally like two miles an hour. It doesn't matter. You're not supposed to be on the sidewalk of the motor scooter. Dude, it's not a motor scooter. Dude, it's a bicycle. You're not supposed to be on the, the thing with us on the sidewalk. Give me that. Whoa! Yeah! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, I'm gonna be beaten up! Ooh! Whoa! 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 You just assaulted me, sir! I, I did not! Yes, you did! You just assaulted me! You just touched me! You just touched me! Whoa! You just assaulted me! I have that on video! I have that on video, sir! Sir! I don't want you to lie! 
I'm thinking about calling the cops on you, dude, and I will press charges against you. Do people just forget that uh, whacking someone's phone out of the hand is still, by definition, assault? Because you're going up to them and you're whacking their phone? By doing that, you're potentially hitting their hand, you're knocking the phone out of their hands towards their body, and depending on the type of phone it is, that could actually hurt. Probably not much, but, you know, it still is assault to a degree. It's buddy. Do you not understand that? And again, the second thing here is it depends on which town slash city they're currently in. Because from memory, what I've read up about the bicycle riding laws in America, it changes city by city. Like, for example, in New York City, you shouldn't be riding bikes on footpaths. You should be riding them on the side of the road or on the road themselves, but never on the footpath things along those lines it seems to be similar in a majority of the major major dense cities in america but not all of them it could be different here either way this is not how you treat a situation where someone's doing something you're not happy with you definitely don't knock someone's phone out of their hand especially when they record here we had a guy at jimmy john's that is having a lot of issues because for some reason or another this day they cannot accept cash because something's gone wrong so this guy instead of being an understanding human being decides to uh have a very interesting approach to it so you don't accept cash and you made my sandwich, and you're just gonna throw it away. I didn't know you were gonna pay cash. Can I just have my sandwich? Then? No, I'm not gonna risk my job for you. You're not gonna what? I'm not gonna risk my job for you. Because you don't accept money? No, because you can't pay. I have cash. Yeah, I can't accept it to you, as I told you. Oh, this is gonna be funny for your manager. <laughs> I, yeah, I've been gonna do anything for you. You what? I'm not gonna do anything for you. I can't accept cash for you. I'm not gonna give you a free sandwich and risk my job for you. So you can go ahead and leave. Talk to my manager if you want. They're not gonna do a damn thing for you. You can talk to them all you want. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because you don't accept cash. Just today, yes, that's it. Circumstances. We can't give up change today, so I'm not allowed to accept cash today. <laughs> hey, hey, you. You ever heard of anything like this? I mean, yeah, I know, but it's uh, the system down and everything. It's like, yeah, it's just policy. Quit wasting our time. Just go. There's nothing we can do. Quit, you. quit with me. You're gonna kick me out because I have money. No, I, as I've said, we can't accept it today. <laughs> like, what do you want? My me to do? God, you people are ridiculous. Are you real? Like, it's just circumstances. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, so you're gonna throw food in the garbage What's because somebody awesome? walks in with money to buy the food they ordered, and you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't give you a free sandwich, all right? Look, I can't accept your cash. I can not change in the safe. As I said already, there's nothing more I can do for you, and that's it. Of course. No, I hope you enjoy your free sandwich, because I know you're going to eat it, right? No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to trash it, because that's what I'm supposed you're, to do. You're just going to throw it in the trash? Yes. Do you accept Bitcoin? What? No. I can take card. Apple Pay, Google Pay. We can't accept cash today. What? I'm not trying to kick you out. I've upset you. Just no, you're fine. I, I just don't know how to handle this situation. I've waited years for this to happen. For what to happen? This exact moment. It just blows my mind. It's utterly comical. I want to enjoy it a little bit. Here you go. Tap on your screen. Oh, can I have that? That's the receipt from the order. It's actually going to list this to cancel. Yeah, yeah, can I have that though? No. Why not? This will go in the back. We need it for our records. For what? For our records. Your records of what? We keep everything in record for all canceled orders. Okay. okay. For all canceled orders. Oh, digital currency. It's really screwed over America, hasn't it? Thank you. Thank you for that. That was the that was the epitome. Well, that's what the climax was, you know, the story. Now, I do query on what type of problem has to occur for you to be unable to accept cash, but I do believe there would be genuine reasons behind that, just like how systems can go down and suddenly cars just don't function because the ATM system breaks something along those lines, and it'd be as simple as that. 
like there's nothing they can do about it. I don't get why you're going on this whole tirade. It's like, oh, but I want my sandwich. You're only going to throw it out. So why can't I have it? It's like, because I can't give it to you. You, you can't pay. And like, because we can't accept cash right now because it just, we just can't. There's nothing we can do about that. And so it leads me to an interesting question. Is there a sign on the front door letting people know that, hey, we can only accept card right now. Cash is broken or something along those lines. Like, is there something like, is there a sign specifically saying that before you come in? Because if not, then, well, you kind of brought this upon yourself by having issues with that. Or not clarifying before they make their order that we can't accept cash right now. I don't know. It seems like a situation that could be easily unavoidable if it was made clear that they can't can't accept cash or if the guy actually was willing to understand that for the day i don't know this guy got a pizza from little caesar apparently it caused him to get sick and some form of potential food poisoning whatever just a bunch of issues so he's going back to get a refund the way the uh the staff here handles this entire situation is honestly just i don't get it staphylococcus meningitis he got staphylococcus from all of this garlic butter. That's not what I said. You can keep your napkin though. I'll give you your money back. You don't have to record me. I know what I said. I didn't call you and say I got food poisoning. No, it's just, you I came in here to, poisoning. am I allowed, I can I say? It's all gone and you've got garlic butter all over it. No wonder you got sick. Oh, gone. Can I, am I allowed to talk or? Wait, you just talked before you turned your camera on though, right? Right, Mr. I got food poisoning. No, I, I said about after, three. Right? I said about three words before you started yelling at me. Really? Yeah. Even your pizza knows you're liar. You need to work on your customer service. I don't let liars come to my store. I am not a liar. You said you got staphylococcus meningitis I from said, garlic butter. That is a lie. You guys work for this? No! Okay, I'm refunding I... you. Drop it. Thank you. No, you called me a... But hey, gets better. She also responded a little later with her own TikTok. Guy comes through drive through He orders himself his slices and sticks. We already put garlic butter on that thing, but he wants two extra sides. About three hours later, he wants to call and say that he got violently ill from the garlic butter. I said, come on back, bring the pizza. I'll give you your refund. No questions asked. Except for just bring the pizza back. Okay, I did go go and tell my employees I think we're about to have a guy come in and give me problems because he got sick off our garlic butter. Got there. First he wanted to tell me he had food poisoning and I said, sir, I'm really sorry, but I don't really think you have food poisoning. It's only been three hours since you've even bought the pizza. There's no way. Um, then he said, well, I have staphylococcus meningitis. I said, sir, there is no such thing as staphylococcus meningitis. It is meningitis and that is a bacterial infection of the brain fluid. There's no way you could get that from garlic butter. He said, I have a learning disability. How dare you make fun of me for using the wrong words? I said, I'm really sorry, but if you expect me to believe that you went from having food poisoning to having staphylococcus meningitis, you got me off the sir, you are a moron. Sitting there for another 15 minutes and wouldn't leave my drive through until I pretended to call the cops and that I did write his license plate number down. So how is that for a fill-in? <laughs> I don't know, this is a very intriguing situation overall, just the entire mess to do with it, and yeah, it, it does sound a bit weird that someone's gotten food poisoning off of a pizza within three hours of buying said pizza, and yeah, maybe your body didn't react kindly to the amount of garlic butter you supposedly had on the pizza, maybe you did get a little bit sick right afterwards, but... I don't think I would shock that up to being food poisoned. And considering how she just went, yep, just bring it back in. We'll give you a refund, yada, yada, yada. It, it, it does, like, persuade the question, like, what actually happened here? There's always two sides to any story in any situation. And usually the reality tends to be somewhere in the middle. This one seems a little more toward, leaning towards the employee. I don't know. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. In this clip, we got a Karen who's uh, having a bit of a meltdown at an airport when she's told, like, hey, uh, the move up, you're next, go on. She decides to have a full-on meltdown in front of everyone else, complaining about how much she's the victim of all of this and how she's only being picked on because she's not being protected. I don't know. No, entitlement is what you're doing. Thinking that you can come on my heels. Can you move up, please? Oh, see? No! I 
get the chance to do it when I want to do it. Don't ball up your fist at me, baby. You got the wrong one. What's going on? You really got the wrong one. what you call a lie. No, you are entitled. You are the ones who are entitled. Either that, either she's so self deluded that she's unable to admit when she's actually in the wrong or when she's done something wrong, or she's actually having a mental breakdown in this moment. You know what? I'd probably throw out a penny and say there's most likely both of them. She probably is self deluded, but is also having a melt mental breakdown because she's unable to handle being wrong. Here we have yet another person who decides to leave their dog inside of their car in the middle of a hot summer's day. Yeah. That's really, is it? Leaving what? your dog Leaving in there. my dog for seven minutes. It's, it's like an oven in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, would you like it if I left you in the car for seven minutes? The window's open. It's, I've been sat here with my window open and it's like an oven. <laughs> Not leave your dog in a car in the summer, love. What do you mean? Look at me like I'm a piece of a piece of love for leaving that poor dog. I'm, listen, I'm sat, I'm sat right here, right? Excuse me, excuse me, mister. If I leave my windows open, will you watch my dog? Not a problem, love. Leaving it in the hot oven, which a car... The windows can open, you idiot. It was open. Did you not see the window open? I've just walked around, Cam called that car and took pictures. Now it's open. Now it's open. Would you like it? Would you like it if I put you in a hot car and left you in it? You're cruel to animals, love. Cruel to animals, you are. Cruel to animals. Cruel, that is. Absolutely cruel. I've asked you all over Facebook, took a picture of your number plate. Cruel. 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 No, cruel. I wouldn't even treat my worst enemies like that. Absolutely cruel, that is. No. How about now? You no. How about now? No. How about now? No. You're cruel. Finish. You're cruel. You're... You have no idea. What do you mean I have no idea? I've been sat here for 15 minutes while that... You need to go 15 minutes. That poor dog has been sat in an oven. An oven. While you're worried about buying chocolate bars and coffee. More important than that poor dog. <laughs> Okay, so here's a curious question. So you're only out of the car for seven minutes, and there's two of you. Why Why couldn't one of you just stay in the car, leave the car running so the dog can stay in some nice cool aircon? Why did you both have to go in there if it's only for a very short thing? Were you just getting some food and coming back to the car and having it there? Like, why are you leaving your dog inside the car on a hot day? Surely, like, I'm pretty sure most people can understand that regardless of even if you have your windows down a bit, the car's still going to be very hot and stuffy. And then the second thing to that is the dog doesn't have any easy access to water. You gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, it's not that hot. Yeah, it might not be that hot, but dogs also need water as well, and keeping them locked up in a car for a bit is not the greatest move because, hey ho, they don't have access to water there. Ooh, that's gonna cause many problems, especially when they get dehydrated from the heat and how much they might be sweating underneath all that fur. And then, oh, they die. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Did, did people not think about these things at all? I'm just asking, can you please no, step, no. Can you step back? No, no. I just want to say one thing from right here. Understood, but stay back I am so way. sorry for the way I talked to you. You did not deserve that. I, I appreciate lost my that. Temper. I rebuilt a lot of things. You did not deserve all those words. You're not those things, okay? And I'm very sorry for that. You did not deserve that. I could have handled that better. I apologize. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, that's something you don't see in civilization that often someone actually apologizing for their actions. My god. 
So here we got a Karen who was doing cartwheels and playing around with her bunch of kids prior to the flight or on the plane. I'm not 100% sure because it's not made clear when in the timeline this was happening while she was also drinking alcohol. Ultimately, she would get kicked off of this flight because his, she looks intoxicated according to the flight attendant. Here's the clip. No, you can walk away. You cannot come on this aircraft. You are shaking and I can see it. And because you guys are jeopardizing the safety of this aircraft right now. Okay. So I'm threatened by both of you. Well, that's unfortunate. That's Let's good. go. The sheriff's department is on Now you hear from my home. I told you, I didn't want this thing to get escalated, but you wanted to know. No, no, I want sobriety test. I am sober. I work with children. I've been doing cartwheels, and back then, you need to get out of here. You do. Otherwise, I'm going to close so the So you are reporting, right? It's not going to help you. They're reporting you. Reporting is not going to help. You are wasting the no, situation. No, reporting will help. Okay. You, got, you are you are wasting your What behavior did you see you in the line? You cannot step any closer to me. I'm not. I stepped to the side. What behavior did you, you see in the If you step any closer to me, we're going to have problems. I'm not stepping closer. What behavior of mine did you see? What behavior did I see? Yeah. You are flipping all over the ground. You can't, you, you're you engaging, you're loud, you want attention from everybody. All, all of us, you're, the whole entire crew saw it. All of us are in agreement that you flipping cannot Flipping on the ground, her. you mean the car wheels I was doing with the children that I met on the flight? As I was watching you drink your alcohol. Like I said, and, and I you, did have one glass of wine. Right, and so because you've admitted it, I'm not going to allow you to come on this aircraft today. So anybody that's had one glass cannot get onto this No, line? anybody who's exhibiting behaviors of being intoxicated is not allowed to come onto an aircraft. Do I that's, seem intoxicated to you right now? Yeah, you do. Because you aren't following any sort of instruction that any of us are asking you to do. Because I have kids at home that I'm waiting to get back to. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. It is. Because you should have been behaving yourself up in the, the, and you should have been behaving yourself here. You should have been listening to him. So that's. No, the, no, you made your decision before we walked up. Right, there. because her behavior. No, right. Right, because her behavior was that of somebody who appears to be intoxicated. I, I didn't realize that you were an expert. In I don't have to be. I don't have to be. I have, really? I have guidelines that we follow in our manual, and you can well, actually well, look it up in the, um, the FAA.gov. Somebody is there. And she's recording me, and so I want that deleted. No, so, somebody will be hey, there. Not the she's, she's recording me, and that's also against FARs. That's also against the F Federal Aviation Regulation. Okay. Say that you have to have per my permission to be filming me. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's so, go. I want, I want law enforcement to deal with both of them, yes, and I please. want that to be deleted immediately. You can't make that demand for I, I can't. I, I am not intoxicated. Your inability to walk away from your inability to walk away is saying that you are. It's the exact opposite, but... Okay. I think the first thing I want to point out is the whole you can't record me nonsense that this person was trying to pull at the end of the clip. It ultimately depends on a few different factors. If we're on the plane directly, yes, in theory, you can ask that because it would be a recording that is, uh, I would say, it doesn't isn't protected by your First Amendment as much as what recording in a public place is. But here they're outside the actual plane itself. They're on the boarding tube. So it would more depend on what airport they're at and whether it's a government-ran airport or a privately owned airport. It will depend on how those laws will be at play. Ultimately, though, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the other bit of this. And uh, if I'm completely honest... I'm more willing to side the flight attendant here because yes, there would be these things where you have a bunch of guidelines on what to do about intoxicated people and how to pick someone who might possibly be intoxicated. 
nasty thing might possibly be intoxicated because some of the actions that intoxicated people will exhibit might also come from might get exhibited by people who also have some form of mental disability but usually those people who have those type of mental disabilities usually have someone else with them can actually that can actually explain that hey no nah, i'm sorry they're not intoxicated this is just they've got some mental disabilities i'm sorry about that and yeah, clearly here there is no form of mental disabilities, as well as the flight attendant here has seen this person actively drinking whilst being loud, obnoxious, and cartwheeling around with a bunch of kids either prior to the flight itself or on the flight, on the actual plane itself. I'm not 100% which one's which because they don't make it clear in the timeline here. But ultimately, I can see why this ha happened. And considering that this person's refusal to cooperate with the entire situation and just like be far more understanding like okay yeah fair enough i do seem intoxicated i can tell you i'm not but hey fair enough and potentially move for the next flight and it is suck that you got kids who are waiting for you to get your flight and go back home but in this situation here you've shown yourself to be potentially intoxicated based upon the guidelines that employees are given to look out for when it comes to refusing intoxicated people so it is what it is maybe next time you'll learn to just like be more cooperative when these type of things happen because you might it might turn out they might see that actually no you don't seem intoxicated you're willing you're willing to work with me to figure this stuff out instead of just outright refusing and just being an asshole here we have a FedEx delivery guy delivering what looks to be a 12 pack of cat food cans which probably are around 750 grams in size oh crap i'm australian that is completely different metric to what you guys read as are give me a moment let me do some conversions oh uh, yeah about 1.6 pounds it's probably more of a consistent measurement to how you guys do your cans would be slightly different but you know that looks to be the size of what our average 750 gram cans are which is 1.6 pounds anyway so it's a heavy box there's 12 of those damn things so this guy thought it would be a great idea to haul it over his shoulder which you know i guess you could do that makes some sense and then when he has to put it down throws it onto the ground he gets caught by the cust by the person who owns that package and well here's what happens next hey when you throw it like that half of the cans are unusable please don't do that huh? when you throw the box like that half of the cans like... I've been getting chewy for five years, buddy. When you throw it like that, which I've got on film now, you half of the cans are dented, what? and I can't use them. That, that's heavy, like, so... I I'm not, I'm not that far, so put it like, like this, so... It's heavy. It's really heavy. I know. Yeah. Well, then don't do this for a living. I know. I know. But it's really heavy. It's just felt like this one. Every time you guys do that. Every single time. Me? Whoever works for FedEx. UPS doesn't do it. The U.S. Postal Service does it, doesn't do it, but FedEx does it every time. FedEx? Yes. Are you sure then? Yes. Me, I'm not doing it like this. You just did it! What's what's it? What's this one? It's really heavy, man. If you want to lift, they lift this one. I've been buying the same stuff for five years. I know it's heavy. I know it's heavy, but you can't just throw it because it's uh, heavy. I apologize. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So, first off, for those who don't know, who don't know why you should not really eat food or use food from any form of dinted cans, is that, well, the dints, depending on how big and sharp they are, can actually break the seals in, or damage the seams of the cans, which will lead to bacteria being able to get inside of the can itself and cause a whole plethora of issues. Tiny dints, usually are fine. But decent sized dints, which would probably occur by a drop like this one, is just a big no-no. You shouldn't use whatever's in those cans if you see a dint to that degree, because seals, seams are broken, bacteria can get in one way or another. It, it's just not good for anyone, and it's just not worth it. So yeah, I can understand the frustration here, because losing half of the cans, the cans are probably expensive, Overall, it's probably like a $20, $30, $40 worth of cat food there. Actually, that's probably undercutting it. I don't know. I have no frame of reference for the cost of American pet food. So someone in the comms can have to enlighten me on how much that probably would have costed the customer here. But it's just like one of those things where I get it. It's heavy. But you should also know proper lifting and 
putting down techniques of using your knees to slowly bring it to the ground and then you can slowly turn it off your shoulder onto the ground. If you can't do that, then don't carry it over your shoulder. Find a way you just carry it with your hands. Yes, it sucks, but you know, you have to do your job and not damage the damn packages when you're delivering them. I suppose, though, they will never learn that one. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's very upset that uh, someone's asking for their insurance after getting involved in a car crash. Wait, you've been drinking? Have you been at the game drinking? No, I no. said we're getting No, you drink. said you've been drinking. This is white entitlement right here. I need your insurance, please. I'm giving you my insurance. I need your insurance. Thank you. Thank you for yep. being respectful. Okay. I, I appreciate that. Insurance. I appreciate that. I'm trying to... A spic? Yeah. Okay. Or Indiana or whatever. I'm not Indian. You don't belong in America. I don't belong in America. Are you videoing? Yes, I am. I will be getting your license plate. I am videoing you. I guarantee you will probably lose whatever job you have for this. I'm sorry. You know what? You should. Wow. You should. I mean, dude, I'm sorry. You have to. You have to witness this. This is. This is your own wife. I'm sorry for that. You know, I kind of want to get some of these type of people to come down to a country like Australia where it's extremely multicultural, where you can pretty much go and walk into a shopping centre and you'll see people from all different walks of life. Because I can't imagine what they would do underneath those circles. Here you have a guy who's buying a bunch of items from a Walmart, assuming it's something that's on special or some form of special offer that's occurring, and that's why they're buying so many at such a reduced price, in order to give to a church that either they work at or help volunteer for. One of those things. Basically, they're buying a bunch of something that's on special, and apparently, according to this person who works there at Walmart, they can't buy that many, so they've locked their register on them. Tell me what you're going to tell me okay. while I'm buying these from my church. Tell you me want, what you're telling me again. You want to you want to buy them all or no? I'm buying. I already gave a bunch away to your customer, so you just said that I couldn't buy them. I'm asking you why. Yeah, Can I you state it for my camera? To limit the okay, well, bye -bye. No, there's nothing. There's no. There's nothing nowhere that says any of that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm letting you know right now. We can, you know. What's your name? We try to time. Okay, I gave away more than 50 of these that I was going to buy to customers in your staff. So I don't understand why you stopped me because someone sent you. Yes, more than a couple. So I mean, so more than I know. So can you can you allow my thing to work and get away from me? Because I don't know why you, I come here all the time. I spend way too much money here. And can you re, uh, can you um turn this back on for me, sir? Can you turn this back on for me, sir? Why, sir? I mean, we wanted to have a conversation, but I guess... There is... I've, I've already scanned all of these. You told me to stop scanning them. I already gave away a bunch. I'm trying to understand why you guys are pressing me. Because you walked up, sir, and you didn't even know what that guy was talking about. So I'm assuming someone sent you, because he told me something completely different than what you said when you first walked up here. So can, can I just scan this out? What's the problem? I think I explained it for you already once, sir. One more time. No, hold on, please let him dig his own hole because no, I don't understand these people. I, I well, I'm, been, I'm finna leave with this stuff, with all of it. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> they won't let me pay for none of it. My text only at 50. Don't work. Wait, no, we're not doing none of that. We're not doing none of that. Hey, look, it's $100 on the floor. I'm taking everything from right here. That's more than enough. It's a hundred. It's a hundred dollars on the floor. It's a hundred dollars. You walked up and said, "Do I need assistance?" And then you said, "I can't have none of it." I bet I do. I show you where I'm from. I don't know what's wrong with you people up here in Michigan. It's a hundred dollars on the floor to pay for. Y'all check them out. Excuse me, sir. Can you let me know why? Excuse me, sir. Are you about to do this? Why is it? It's $100 right there on the floor. So I don't understand what you're talking about. Excuse me, sir. Is it too much of a purchase? The hell? I shop here every day. I spend thousands of dollars here. What's the issue? Excuse me, sir. Call it. I put $100 on the floor. I didn't your 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 cash, your people who took the stuff from me when I was buying, they can ring the rest of it up. You know how many was on the order? So how many did you ring up? 
I don't know. I ring up a well, bunch. Listen, can I ring up the rest Only of them? thing I didn't ring is that cart, and it's at fifty one dollars. Whoa, hey, brother. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, Alvin. I'm yeah, not, these all been rung up. I left a hundred dollars no, right there on the no, floor. You, on the floor. Have to be rung up the you turn the register off. How can I pay you, and you listen. turn the register off? We're not touching no. anybody. How can I pay and you turn my register off? Let me help you. It's not about that. It's about principle. So, uh, I don't know why y'all stressing me. Watch out, bro. I put my money right there. Finish. You can finish that up and donate it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. All of these have been rung up. Everything. The money is right there on the floor. You turn my register off. Can you instruct him to turn my register back on so I can pay? I'm just trying to figure out. You don't have to pay for anything. I can completely understand the failure of the initial worker's entire response to handling the situation, but what seems to be the managers also come out and also seems to be a complete and utter failure when handling this entire issue. Genuinely speaking, how did you become a manager if this is how you handle something like this? You're seeing, oh, did you buy it? Did you pay for it? He's literally laid out the problem very clearly that the register that he was using to ring up all the items has been locked and requires one of you guys to unlock the register so we can finish ringing up all these items and complete the purchase. Either the manager is just not listening and is com being a complete and utter idiot, or he just has no idea how to handle this situation. I wouldn't be too surprised that it's because it's an item that's on a on special for some reason or another. It might have a purchase limit on it, but it also seems to be a very steep discount so it might be on clearance but either way if there's an issue with limits how about just make that a lot clearer and just be upfront about it rather than whatever the hell was happening here and next we've got a person who's a little upset that someone honked their horn at them so they decided to follow them home and then attempt to confront them what is wrong what's wrong with her i'm sorry this is my mother and your mother's acting like okay okay so how about that and you need to stop recording me because the more you record me, I'll record her. I'm sorry, I'm just a little concerned because- I'm a little concerned too because she's honking at me. How does she like to be honked at? Exactly, thank you very much. I don't know what happened. You don't even know what happened, but she can tell you what happened. All and right. it was just a split second when I looked down, I wasn't even on my damn- Okay, I'm sorry. For her honking at me like maybe, a grown ass woman. Maybe she's older was, than me and wants to ride my ass, I don't care. Maybe there was a miscommunication. In self defense. What the heck? Um, it's all on video. Don't it's worry. It's all on video. I have no idea, but they're videotaping me and they want to see me. Wanna... How can I no, get I'm in trouble out. for that? The address is right there, dumbass. And she keeps calling me names and out of my oh, name, and I don't appreciate that. Law. So it's uh, 270. Hey, she go back away. I'm at yeah. 270. And I honked. I went beep. And ever since then, she's been oh, following, following you, road rage. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't have road rage. You sound pretty upset to us. No, because you guys don't know the story, and she's not telling the truth. You guys are listening to what story? What did I do? Did I call? Do you hear this? They're I all at you. Right now. They're all making me mad. I she's calling at the you, cops. And you're crying. And her daughter's calling the cops. Coming at my mom. So I need someone. I slapped you because you scared me. You came at my mom. Oh, she's a I minor, by the way. You're a you're an adult tech and a minor lady. And I didn't touch nobody. It sounds like you went at her. What's this street? What's this street name? Yes. Okay. Go to the end of the street and find out. I'm on. I'm, I'm on Yuma. No, you're not. But go ahead. Yep. Are you gonna be in trouble? No. I don't know this near. She scared the crap out of me. She got out of her car and ran at you. No, you're self-defense. You're fine. And you're a minor. She can't. You know. I'm sorry. I thought she was gonna hurt you. I know. It's okay. She's crazy. I believe so if that's Where's what you're feeling. Oh my god. It's okay.
The fact that you've gotten so hung up on the fact that she honk her horn at you is literally one of the most craziest things I've ever seen. Actually, no, that's a lie. I've seen worse. <laughs> but it's just like one of those things like you got honked at because you stopped at a stop sign for quite a bit apparently because you weren't paying attention to the road. And so at that point, you just move on with your day because, well, what's the point following someone home than screaming at their child for existing, for being not normal? the full story and then when the other person comes out you hop out of your car and attempt to just go all up in their face it's like what the f are you doing like the whole recording here shows exactly what happened and uh if you just if you really do want to push through with these charges i don't think it's gonna land very well for you because there's a multiple things that you'll probably get hit with because heard her you're literally following someone and then attempted to assault them for some fucking reason you dumb fuck here we have an interesting one. The p person who's already here in the car park, they parked normally in their car park, but because the person next to them had double parked, they were extremely close to their car to the point where they couldn't get into the driver's seat. So uh, they have the most appropriate reaction to that incident. Not? Do it! Do it! Take a picture I'm taking a video! Prick. Go, you goddamn piece of shit. You kicking it. I'm pregnant. What the fuck you gonna I'll do? Walk off, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Do you do something. Do fuck you. Curious question here. I wonder, would he have had the same reaction if she wasn't in the car? Like, if she was inside doing her own thing and he came out to see this, would he have actually still gone to throw stuff? Or would he have just been like, fuck, looks like I uh, screwed myself here because I double parked. Hmm. Like, I feel like that, for me, seeing some people's reactions, sometimes some people react far more because the person who cause them this so the supposed due harm is actually there so they'll give an appropriate reaction to them and i say appropriate reaction it's not really but <laughs> you get what i mean and it seems uh bright eyed to throw your drink at a person's car when the entire problem you're currently having is almost entirely your fault no not almost it is entirely your fault for double parking if you didn't double park you wouldn't be having this problem in the first place and good job we were having we have inflation right now buddy you probably threw away like four or five bucks of a drink right there <laughs> <laughs> also, our camera person, you didn't do yourself any favors by going to kick his car. Not the brightest move. In this clip, a Karen got herself banned from the gym and assumes that it's something to do with her MAGA hat that's making people offended, even though the reason why she's being kicked was made explicitly obvious to her. Yeah. Planet Fitness tell me I'm banned. After paying. Tell me. So we have an alert on your account that there was a ban process for your membership. We also don't allow recording in the facility, so I am going to have to ask you to stop recording. Uh, I'm going to record it because I've been paying for the past couple months. And we are going to issue there. you a full refund, but we also do not allow recording right, in the facility right without now. You're going to refund right now. You're going to tell me permission. why I'm banned. Because we have, back in the day, I don't remember exactly when it was, but you were arguing and threatening other people, so there was a ban put on the membership. Arguing and threatening people? That is what we have in the system. So there is a ban on the membership. We never should have created like an account, which is an issue. You know, it was a mistake, but we do have to issue you a full refund, and we do have to cancel your account, and you are not allowed at any of our facilities. <laughs> you can give me your full refund, and we I'd will like give your you a full name refund. My written name is down, Chris. and... Banned at Planet Fitness. Judgment free zone, right? Bandit Planet Fitness for wearing a MAGA hat. It's called the violation of your constitutional rights. 
wearing a MAGA hat. Offensive. It's okay. I'll make sure that my uh, my lawyers know that I felt threatened here in the judgment-free zone. Better start looking for jobs, buddy. Are we just going to ignore the fact that you got explicitly told it's because you got involved in multiple arguments and harassing other people inside of the gym and that's why you've been banned? Not because of whatever hat that you're wearing, you fucking moron? How dense and dumb are you? Or maybe, maybe you're trying to gaslight yourself into thinking that, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You were the perfect human being like you always were. <laughs> Grow the fuck up. In this next, we've got an angry Karen who parks in front of someone's bike with a big ass SUV. Not her. <laughs> Those parking spots here. No, you don't. Hey, can you help me? Oh my God, this. She, <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. We have parking spots here, so. Okay, well I'll gladly you take up two from now on. I don't need to. I have it registered here. I don't need to. Go away. Please go. The cops. Right here. Right here. The cop telling her if she parks in front of my bike again. I can have it towed, and if she touches my car again, she was going to be arrested. She stomped off like a child. Oh, sure, she stomped off like a child, eh? Did she casually cause an earthquake or two? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm slightly overweight. I can make these type of jokes. Do you want proof? I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> this is funny anyway. She's like, she just wanted to be a massive nuisance park in front of someone's bike for some dumb reason, and then when she gets told off for doing it, she's like, ah, he just loses her mind over it. It'd be funny as hell. Here we have a Karen who's just sitting here belittling the McDonald's workers in this restaurant because they work at McDonald's. Ultimately, after a little bit of this belittling, someone else steps in and starts going off at the Karen. Eventually, she just turns tail and runs. You guys are McDonald's. Yeah. You guys are... Okay. And you guys are McDonald's. Okay. Me? And you know, and They deserve to get bullied, but I don't. This is wrong. This is stupid. You don't like it. Get out of here. Don't do the same thing I'm doing to them to me. That's wrong. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Turns out you got destroyed by your own logic. Whoops. Here we have a group of young adults who are hanging out on some form of parkland. And well, this guy who either lives within this area or is the head of the HOA of this area, something along these lines, comes out and Sasuke and these guys offer this parkland area because it's, quote, private property. And well, things just continue to escalate. Oh, you got that on camera? Yeah, I did. I remember you. Wait, we'll I remember you. You assaulted my wife and I on the levee no, right? we did it. ten years ago. Ten years ago? Yeah. I don't live over here, bro. Let's call the cops. Crazy dude right here. I remember you. And no, I am gonna cops. go get the cops. Well, we'll Crazy dude you interrupting us. The people who own Threaten? the property, you're drinking beer underage uh, and smoking weed. We're weed-in. 21. They're gonna go call we're the cops. 21. There's no alcohol allowed in this park. I don't okay, cool. We can go put it in the car. No, we'll call the cops. Are you deaf? Call the cops. I'm the homeowners association. You just threatened me. Yeah. 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 yeah you're Back right. up. And Back you up. need to get your beer and I'm you need crazy. to get off the property. Hey, call the cops. You need call to the get cops. off get the property. Face. Hey. This is not your property. Hey, what's this park called? It's not sir? your property. You pay pay. What's this park called? If you owned it, you would know. I don't own it. Right. It's private property. I'm just letting you know, I'll be boxing, bro, so please step back. I don't care what you do. This guy stepping up. Get off my property. This guy stepping up. Please, sir, back up. Get off my property. Sir, please back up. 
I understand. Everyone, no, listen, I don't want to hear your. I don't want to hear that people are wrong. Excuse, Excuse me. Let, let them be. Uh, yeah, I understand private property. Right now. This guy's a park. Do you understand? No, it's yeah. not. It's private. Private property. Are you deaf as well as ignorant? Sir, I feel private danger. Can you back up, sir? Property. We're in danger. It's got a sign that yes, says it's private property. Get the. I've already asked you nicely. I asked you to put your beer away and your weed. And now we I'm don't have weed. I'm so get the f off. I need enough nice. When I come back, you will leave. No, you're not. He said he's coming back. When I come back. Yeah, we feel threatened. He might have a weapon or something. He's going into. He's going somewhere. He says he's gonna come back and beat us up. Okay, we're walking away. Let's tell them. Are, you, are they gonna come? Is there, are they coming out? A sheriff or something. This guy. Hey, sir, is. back away from him. You think you, you sir, back you away from him right now. Huh? Back away. Shut. The Please up. back away from me before I, my life's in danger. And then stick a sir, camera in my back up from like me before my life's in danger. All he does is make. Sir, you step in. You I'm a. I will knock you out. Property. Bro, we Are will. Stupid. Bro, back up. Are you stupid. I'm gonna have to Get use the force on you. Property. I don't give a if my breath stinks. You need to get off my property right now. Back up. He hurt you. Bro, back I'm up. Hurt you. Back Now, I think I should make this 100% clear. Here in Australia, there are parks like this within neighborhoods pretty much everywhere throughout the place. Usually, these are considered, quote, public parks kind of deal where anyone can really use them as a park because that's what they're intended to be. And that'd be as simple as that. So, part of me doesn't quite get the whole get out of this property type deal here, but that might be for various reasons. This could be a unit, a set of units, a area that could be used by them, but it's also not fenced off in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. The second thing that comes with this is having alcohol and weed out in the open. Technically, that, depending on where you are in America, from my understanding, that is illegal to a degree. Depending. A lot of things with that. Either way, the old man behind this has definitely not handled this in the brightest of ways, especially considering at the back end of this, he pretty much gets right up into someone's face, and from what it looks like from the slowdown footage we get given here, it looks like he might have pushed first, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to decide on that one if I'm completely honest. But I, I think this is one of those cases where maybe it would have been in the guy, everyone else's best interest just to simply move on. Because clearly this guy was going a little nuts about this, potentially having some form of power trip or something on those lines. It seems insane to me that this is your reaction to someone just hanging out in parklands in general. It just seems so insanely stupid. So here we have what I would like to say, a very infuriating clip of a Walmart employee, no, manager, who decides to uh, assume that someone's stealing a hoverboard, takes the hoverboard away, well, and a different employee takes the hoverboard away, and when she asks to have her receipt printed, even though she showed proof that she did buy this, yada, 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 it, it, just watch the clip. It's ridiculously stupid. I'll talk to you after. Yeah, can I get my receipt at least? No, Three, you didn't. And I have it on video. I I can okay. you reprint me my receipt then? No, I have yes, no, you didn't, sir. Yeah, nope. It's not. We, look, it, I don't have my receipt. Check oh, the no, cameras. No, can You can check your cameras that you did not hand me the receipt. I don't have it. Got, you guys put it on the I hoverboard. And guess what? No, no. I, gave it to you. I was reading it and I was like, here. So may you print me my receipt? May you print me? One of the two guys. Which side? Uh, let's go wait for the cops outside. Because I no, would have no um, reason wait, to keep your Can receipt. you please give, print me a copy? 
It takes 24 hours to redo. No, it doesn't. Listen, listen I gave it to one of you guys. Can you just print me another we'll copy of the receipt? Let's see on the floor. I know I gave it to you guys because I. that's yours. That part's yours. All right, but can you, if not, can you please reprint me another copy? No. Why? What's your excuse for not reprinting me another no. copy of my receipt? Because you guys know you you pay, you guys took my money and don't want to give me my product. Here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm would be more than happy to listen. I'm just asking for a receipt. I gave you the receipt. I don't know where you got the so can you check the cameras to, to verify you gave me the re the receipt? I don't know what else you're saying. We're going around the so can you reprint me one since clearly there's nothing no, on the floor? You think I need guys. this? You guys took a hundred and four dollars from me. It shows on the receipt that we and I showed and your employees you even, my bank you even, account. You even, you even, you even, I showed your employees my bank account. You even said that it wasn't pending, which means the transaction is not pending mm, your bank it account. Through. It, it went through. 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 Nothing should be pending if it went through. It said, my bank said, your last transaction was from St. Charles Walmart for $104.82. That's what it's showing on there. Can we get a refresh? We just want to pull for us because I'm not walking out without a receipt. I want to be able to right, come back. Can you, I just want a receipt. can you reprint us a receipt? Why are you walking away from the registers? Are you able to pre-print a receipt or no? No. Yeah. Okay. How come last time I came shopping here, they were able to reprint me my receipt? Calling the cops because she doesn't want to give me my receipt and she's keeping my product that I paid for. Should we go out there? Or... Yeah, before she gives them another story. Hello. Um, hold on, no, because she, oh, no, no, we're not gonna start. can she, you can talk to her, you can talk to her. Can I just go, this is really, I'm just, no, let's go buy another one. This is fucking terrible. We asked for a reprint of the seat, they don't want to go to the seat. Uh, we're done with the situation right now, we just pay for it right now, same thing happened. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and that's like, you can And you can go run. fucking fuck yourself. Right this now, is we're ridiculous. We're You're a fucking piece of shit. Come back, that's on, that's a clear Can I, can I get some sort of proof that it's coming back, man? It's gonna come back in 24 hours. It could show back up on Monday. It's how your bank is. Walmart already voided it. The $90 that the hoverboard was, Walmart already voided it. So can I get proof that I should be getting $104 from Walmart in the next few days? To, there's no proof they can give you. I want voided. some sort of confirmation at least that I should be getting money from them. There's because not, they don't wanna they pull don't, up videos. They. Walmart doesn't have like a specific thing they could give you saying, hey, you're gonna get 90 something. Can they write something out at least? You can see if they can Buddy, no way it takes 24 hours to reprint a damn receipt. It's not that hard. Like, I get it. The computers and registers that they get that get used are flipping old and are usually outdated by a long shot. But you know, I worked at I worked at a register for several years. It's not that hard to see previous receipts, even on old as hell machines. Like, legitimately, a machine that used to work at, like at a butcher shop that I used to work at, like several, like probably like four or five years ago now, you could simply just go into the history of the previous purchases over the past X amount of time and easily reprint a receipt from that point in time. I work at a major shopping, a micro and major, major supermarket and used to do registers there for a little while. And they have a very similar system that allows you to just reprint the previous receipt or sift through a bunch of previous purchases made at that register. It's not that hard. All this petty bullcrap over the fact that, oh, you didn't pay for the hoverboard, even though you showed your bank account proof that you did make the purchase. You know, the purchase isn't pending. Yes, yeah, because it went through you fucking dumbass holy shit how dense and petty and stupid does someone have to be to even say something like that oh the purchase isn't pending yeah because it's gone through <laughs> what and then if the police officers come in and they're just like oh yeah uh, you're gonna get a refund yeah it's like yeah they, they don't have any way to show you that you're actually gonna get that refund it should be there in a day or two it's like i wanted that fucking hoverboard what the hell why am i getting a refund now like it's so re what the why 
Like, genuinely speaking, why? What was this bullcrap? Sending, sending your employees on a wild goose chase and m just gaslighting them. Saying that you stole the hoverboard and then giving them a refund for the hoverboard they apparently stole? Are you, what? Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to make it. This is, it doesn't fucking make sense, man. Like it just doesn't. Like what? Ah, unbelievable! Unbelievable. Here we got a fun Karen holding a car park spot with their body rather than a vehicle. Let's see who's gonna be. Uh, let's see who's gonna have the walk of shame right now. So I got this lady right here. I've only seen this on videos on YouTube and TikTok, and this lady really saving a spot in the street. Here she is. Hey, well, let's um, see. Let's see let's who see has TikTok more patience right here. Is uh, threatening to post me on TikTok for holding your spot for me while you take a block because I'm sure he's a law-abiding citizen in every other aspect of his life. Oh, you're gonna get so so viral for this, man. I guess that's your life achievement. Congratulations. That's what society's become. Well, that's unfortunate that your friend's gone around the block and done something. Uh, it, it really is unfortunate. Unfortunately, you're not a vehicle. You can't save a spot for another vehicle with your own body. In this situation, you just have to let them park because, uh, they got here before your friend came back from their lap around the block and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Time to move on. In this clip, we've got a cranky old Karen that's upset that the youngins are interacting with nature. Wrecking it, there's literally oh so many berries everywhere. Oh my god, we're not wrecking it! Oh, there's so many berries out here, there's so many berries! <laughs> I cannot! So complete twits. <laughs> we're twits. You're the one coming up to two young girls, getting young mad girls. at them for yeah, picking you're like six year old. Six years old? Because we wanted to eat some berries. I'm saying, eat all the berries you want, just don't take the bush with you. I'm it's sorry, not the bush, it's literally a, it's a tiny personally. branch of berries. Why don't you mind your own business? Why this don't you mind your own steady. business? You know, that is the rudest thing you've said to me. You decided go to come up to Go back where you us. came from if you wanted to use language oh, like that. Oh, why don't you go back to where you came from, you fucking colonizer? <laughs> Are you First Nations? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. You don't call me a colonizer. You're a colonizer. You're, you're a Where did you come from? Yeah, where did you come from? Where did you come from? I'm actually curious. Where the did you US. Come? US? Oh, yeah. So oh, you're not, so you're from not here. Canadian either. Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, so, but we are Canadian too. I was born here. I was born here too. Okay. Were you born here? Did telling her to mind her own business like kind of flick a switch in her head? Because she immediately went from just being a somewhat peaceful, funny person to just immediately going down the racist route of got saying, Go back to where you came from, are you going to say that? It's just like, it's t telling someone to mind your own business isn't the rudest thing. It could be considered rude, but it's not the end of the world type of thing. It isn't something that you should go full on racist over. Holy shit. <laughs> 